Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you. Welcome and blessed be. And if for my growing extended beautiful family, oh Lord, the lights are flashing again. Um, much love to you. Thank you for the love and support that you've been giving me each and every day as I flow it through me. You return it back with the love and I greatly appreciate that as well. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if uh, you feel like you're comfortable, and, I mean, you've been watching my videos for a while. I have not already. Like and subscribe and even hit that notification bell. I knew I was something I was messing up. And if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh if you are feeling like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good information you would love to share with the fellow Wiccan or empath. I feel like we're all empaths in, a, in our curious ways, our peculiar ways or whatever you want to call it. Um, if you think they need to hear the video, please go ahead and share and give me a thumbs up. And like and even share on your social media favorite wherever you see fit. I don't know what is wrong with me in this video. I'm getting really tongue-tied for some reason. So thank you for stopping by the channel and showing me so much love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, my empathic, my empathic meditation music, I don't know why I said that either, into a mystical forest enchanted Celtic music at 432 hertz, nature sounds, and magical forest music. And I will post that link in the description box below. Um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Wiccan and Pagans becoming stronger with one of nature. Yes, we are. I don't know about, you know, the rest of y'all Wiccans or whatever, but I know I feel like if I'm having visions of it, I know if empaths are getting it, y'all are really catching it as well. And it's like our powers are becoming stronger. It's like lately I've been drawn so much to nature. I used to hate going out in nature. I don't know. But even though it's been like the weather is very bipolar in Georgia where I'm at because we just had a tornado. And before that it was like in the 60s, like the the high 60s, mid 70s, close to 80s. And now they flipped over the dag on 50 degrees. Like that was just really insulting when I went outside. But I said, you know what? I'm going outside anyway. And it's like. I was becoming more in tune so you can see the light and stuff is flickering. Um, the, our energies are coming up. You know, if you're you're being more open about your gift, some of us don't know that we're wicked. Some of us don't know that we're pagans. Um, and it's a blessing when I when I can feel people and I can, I'm like, oh my gosh, they feel like they're a fellow sister or a fellow brethren. Um, of a coven, you know, and it's a, a good thing, you know, some people look at it as a negative sense, but I really, it just depends on what you practice in, what you dabble in, because I have a lot of uh, Wiccan friends, I have pagan friends, people that have came into my life that was showing me who they were, and I used to frown upon that too, I'm like, oh my god, first thing I'm thinking about is something, you know, different, but it's like I've said before, you know, if it, if you have to think about the things that you have read about growing up, uh, what movies you were drawn to as you're growing up, just like I used to love watching Highway to Heaven or Touched by Angel uh, with my mom, you know, God Rest Della Reese and Michael Landon um, and Victor French too, they, they all have passed away, but they were all sorts of like uh, impacts as well as well as watching Charmed or Sabrina the Teenage Witch um, what else uh, Vampire Diaries is it, or Harry Potter you know it, I even told my kids about that it's like one of my daughters are is very in touch with her spiritual side the other ones are like mom this and this and this happened I'm like well I did pass that on to y'all so it wouldn't be nerve you know it doesn't surprise me when certain stuff happens and they're like mom you're not gonna say nothing else no <laughs> you know it's you know when you're when you want to be open to your gift and want me to tell you about it I love being able to share that with my my middle daughter you know because she's like oh mom I knew I was a witch and I was just like wait a minute who told you and she's like oh I you know it was drawn to me and all this stuff so I'm so happy that I can actually share that with one of my kids but other ones is like you know like oh mom I don't want to talk about that it makes me nervous or I don't believe in stuff like that I say you don't have to believe in it for it 
for it to not to believe in you. It's going to draw you closer and it's going to, you know, and I hate for something bad to happen for them to be able to recognize that. I want to be able to pass that on to them and know, you know, there's some people in my family are like, oh, we don't dabble with the occult and stuff like that. And I said, I really don't feel that is, you know, anything is really bad about it. You know, if you're not practicing, you know, the hoodoo, voodoo, bad stuff, you know, even though I've had dreams of me being, um, uh, back in the day, like I love Louisiana. I love Nolia. That's like my stomping ground. I feel that my family, you know, that's where my family is deep down from, like there in Paris and stuff like that. I always was drawn to go to Paris or whatever, but it come to find out my family has a background of being Creole. So, um, when I was there, you know, I can feel like seeing Dauphine Lalaurie and uh, Marie DeVoe and stuff like that. And it was just like, wow, this is back, back, back in the days. And I'm, you know, I was drawn to stuff like that, especially when I, I love my favorite, my favorite, like I love um, American Horror Story and I love them all. But I'm so drawn to the coven, you know, that one was really off the charts to me. Like I would play that one out. Like I love Stevie Nicks, you know, my dad was close with her. So that's just a blessing. Well, hopefully one day I'll meet her. But, uh, you know, being able to know these things and, you know, your powers of one is coming. You know, we all got the power of three. But it, it's just like being able to come into that, you know, I, I feel like, um, like especially when I walk and when it gets warm, I have butterflies like gravitating towards me or uh bumblebees wanting to land on me even though i'm like terrified even though i know bumblebees is not gonna bite you but they're always drawn to me because we got these real big ones that look like they're rocks up here and, you know in georgia i'm like oh my gosh they are so big but you know i have butterflies that float towards me gravitate towards me more animals you know i know this pit bull was coming after me yesterday and i'm like oh my god i hope you know i'm seeing teeth so i'm hoping this thing does not attack me but um it, it just when you know you're starting to come one with nature you know you have more animals coming towards you because i have a lot of fe uh feral cats i think that's how you pronounce them um outside that really are drawn to me i feed them every day even though i have my two cats in the house i got the ones outside as well i got seven outside and they're very beautiful i got two that are black uh one i mean she is so big you know uh my ex calls her the sumo cat because she's so freaking huge i've never seen a cat that big before and she's always rubbing up against me and she never did that before but until i came into my power and you know, seeing seeing who I truly am for who I truly am and accepting that, you know, I was able to be more drawn to it. You know, I find myself uh, listening to meditations and it's just like, it's a beautiful feeling when I can be able to have these visions of people, you know, if I can look at their picture and I can tell them this, you know, if their spirit's really drawn to me or they, they really clap out to me, you know, I'm able to tell them, hey, is this going on? Or, you know, this is something you need to pay attention to or, you know, um, this is something that you need to read upon, you know, and I tell them to research or I send them the links and stuff like that to people. So that's really a blessing to me. But if you're, you know, you're, if you're finding out, uh, that you're, you know, you have lineages of pagans, you know, witchcraft, you know, just research on stuff like that. You know, they're, you're getting drawn to these things for a reason, you know, cause it's just like when I first came into my, my situation, I was just like, whoa, I'm not a witch because it was just, it was crazy for me being able to suck out the energy from a room. And if it's negative, I was able to levitate up a wall and that, you know, that was scary to me. I thought I was just imagining it until, you know, people in the room has told me, Rosalind, you levitated up a wall and I was into a big fight and I sucked out all the energy in the room. And I guess it was just, I was holding on to so much stuff because this is like a couple of months after my dad passed away. Even though I don't like coming out of character like that, I'm not, a, I try not to be a violent person, but if you push me up, you know, mm don't play that but you know that's not a good thing but then I always I really don't look at that as the negative side I was just looking at the fact is hey I was able to levitate up a wall or you know things like that happen you know when you can you know suck all the energy out the room and then use that power for yourself which is a real dangerous thing I wouldn't you know <laughs> advise anybody to do that you know because you know violence is not the way to you know get your point across but you know hey I was pushed and I was touched first. So even though that's not a good example anyway, but I'm just saying. 
But, you know, it was just amazing to be able to do that. You know, when I've watched The Craft or The Covenant, you know, I've seen so many things before and I was just like, wow, you know, I wonder what all things that we are capable of doing, you know, if we just really put our mind to and, you know, our mind is a very dangerous, you know, instrument, but it's all how you practice things. You know, now it's like I try to get into nature, you know, if I see animals and I feel like they're, you know, they're not going to attack or whatever I do you know, uh, touch them as well. And, you know, just go out in nature to see what the universe is trying to tell me or what are they trying to teach me or what things that I need to gravitate towards. And, you know, we're just becoming one with nature. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video. I miss making my Wiccan, um, videos, my Wiccan and Pagan, uh, videos because I haven't been on those for a while, but it's just like if the universe is calling me to do, stay up on the Hayokas because we have so much stuff going on right now, we play a, a very big part in some certain things that are big, but I feel like all of us are going to be playing a part towards something, but they need to allow me to gravitate towards a such different subject as well so it's like okay you've done enough videos for this right now but you can go ahead and get on to the videos of the twin flame or get on to the videos of the Wiccan and uh Wiccan and Pagans but it's just like you might feel the energy come into your room you might be able to con control like light of a candle um control certain things you can be able to levitate with your mind or you might get a lot more visions and or you can speak something into existence and being able to do that for yourself. So, you know what, pay attention to the signs if you're able to, you know, come into your power like that. Or you have been coming into your power. So pay attention to it because it's going on to a next level. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Blessed be. Namaste. Give, um, I really don't have a shout out to give right now. But, you know, just blessings to everybody. Uh, if you leave me a message, you know... Like I've said, if y'all leave me a message, I'll go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. Um, I've been seeing a lot of different people, but I haven't had anybody new yet came through yet. So much love to you. And like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share. And uh, drop me a line. I would love a chance to hear from you. Send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And always know that there is somebody out there praying for better days for you. I definitely do because I pray for y'all all the time. So I love you. Talk to y'all later. Much love. Peace. Be wild. Blessed be.